fans whose enthusiasm is as strong as it was when the last series was made back in 1989. Well, with the 30th anniversary of the first show later this year and the appointment of a new BBC One controller, many fans hope this may be the moment to see their favourite show recommissioned by the BBC. Andy Peters has been finding out what the fans believe is so special about Doctor Who. He began by meeting some of the ex-doctors. Five, four, three, two, one. If you talk to people who wouldn't call themselves fans and ask them if they think Doctor Who should come back, I think they'd probably say that, especially people with children, that they would like to think that their children had their own doctor. It has tremendous potential as a, as a program, tremendous potential, and, and, and there's a great uh, audience waiting list. There is no science fiction show on at the moment. Doctor Who has a ready-made audience, you know. Why isn't it on? Go for it. I mean, I, I, I'm all 100% behind it. I mean, the chances of my playing the Doctor Who are nil, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, the enthusiasm of the program should be give, given the full backing of the of the doctors, the, the doctors' club. With the greatest respect to the gentleman I just met, Doctor Who's may come and go. But then again, that is what they're famous for. These chaps here, the Daleks, are now to be found at the BBC Visual Effects Prop Store are so famous, they've managed to make their way into the English Dictionary, where they're described as mobile mechanical beings. But look, I'm no leading authority on this kind of stuff. The real experts are the fans, who say nobody is listening to their pleas to bring back Doctor Who. The one thing about Doctor Who that was unique, that so, the, so few programmers have, is it really stimulated the imagination. It made you think about the possibilities of time travel and history. I mean, it could take a historical subject that was bland and make you really enjoy it. So you see, I'm not going to let you stop me now! Please. There's a certain segment there that runs right the way through uh, uh, our society who thinks of me as the, as the Doctor, which is sort of nice. Um, but they usually just say, you know, where's your TARDIS? Or why didn't you come in your TARDIS? That's a more favourite one. Uh, to which I reply, well, if I'd come in my TARDIS, I wouldn't be here. I'd be 400 years ago or something like that, because it never ended up where it's meant to. I'm a bit long in the tooth, I think, for all the activity required from Doctor Who, because my Doctor Who was very uh, orientated to uh, uh, gadgetry and to uh, riding motorbikes and speedboats and strange motor cars. And uh, I think falling off motorbikes at my age wouldn't be very sensible. <laughs> designed to put a real monster immediately beyond an imaginary one. Or is that exactly how they would expect us to reason? One way to find out. No, no! I would say that I liked Doctor Who. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a fan in the sense that I've seen the um, assiduous behaviour of uh, a large number of fans who eat, sleep and drink it. I mean, I could actually go several days without thinking about Doctor Who. Everybody knows the TARDIS. Everybody knows what a Dalek is, and it's... It's one of those things that, that should continue. It's, it's, it's not fair that it's just disappeared and finished. Well, I think if the fans could finally get to the bottom of who has the power to bring back Doctor Who, they would do their utmost to lock the guy in a room and sit him down with all these facts and figures and basically not allow him to leave until he recognised that the show still is potentially dynamite and had some sort of firm commitment to bring it back. Doctor? What Doctor? Doctor Who? Doctor Who, did you say? Eh? Hey? Doctor Who, what are you talking about? I feel pretty strongly that it, it, uh, Doctor Who should come back, yes. I, I would just like it uh, to come back in a slightly rethought form. If the series was to be brought back from the past, a visit to the scenery dock here at Television Centre would have to be the first adventure, because somewhere occupying a small space is an innocent blue police box. Now, it may look a bit dusty, and it may need a new coat of paint, but you never know, it might still work. Right. <laughs> well, the controller of BBC One, Alan Yentob, today told Entertainment Express that a new series of Doctor Who may return to the schedules in the future whatever that may mean.